Recently, I've wanted to build campers for other people in order to challenge myself and bring someone else's ideas to life. The problem is I usually don't have enough time or space and the people who reach out to me when I am available are either too far from my location or don't have the budget necessary for a full build. But I recently connected with a disabled veteran who was local to me, already had a van, money saved, and some really good ideas that I wanted to try to create. As a fellow veteran who finally had some free time, I decided to build this van for him. This is a late model short wheelbase Mercedes Sprinter with a dual rear axle in the back. This is what we're starting with. The client wants something similar to the huge Sprinter that I built for myself earlier this year. The problem is that this van is over six feet shorter in length, so I'll need to design a totally new layout that will fit a lot more stuff in a smaller space. Now that I know my plan, it's time to get to work. The first step is to tear everything out of the van and install a subfloor to use as a base for the rest of the build. Let's go. Now that the subfloor is in, I'm going to turn my attention to the outside portions of the van. This client wants a roof vent, an RV style window, and some solar panels on the roof. So let's get to work on that. All right, the roof vent is in, but now it's time to move on to the RV style window. And I usually work on vans that are a lot older than this and a lot uglier than this. So it's a little bit nerve wracking cutting a hole in the side of a nice newer van that's also not mine because you only get one shot at this, but I'll do my best. Luckily there were no mistakes, so we're all good there. But now I have to go back up onto the roof to install some solar panels. 
I've made the mistake in the past of drilling the solar panel mounts straight into the roof itself. That's a problem because the more holes that you get, the more likely you're going to get a leak. I'm going to be mounting the solar panels to a separate roof rack channel rather than mounting them directly to the van itself. Now that the solar panels are mounted, I need to run the wires down into the van itself. And that makes me want to just do all of the wiring for the entire van. But in order to do that, I need to put the framing up so that I know where I can put my wires. So I'm gonna quickly do the framing first before the wiring. In order to put electricity in this van, I've run wires for the appliances and outlets. So my next step is to insulate the van so I can put up wall panels and finally build the electrical box.
So now that I got the ceiling in, I was finally able to lay the track for those lights and put the lights inside the track. So I think that's gonna look pretty cool once the lights are actually able to turn on. So let's work on that now. I'm gonna build the electrical cabinet so I can wire everything together and see if all of these appliances work. That was a lot of wiring, but I did not blow up yet. But what I did do is build the bench while I was doing all that wiring. So I'm gonna build off of that and make the bed, which is the biggest thing in the van, so that I can see how much room I have left to build everything else.
kitchen cabinet is in there so now I can get started on the plumbing. Now there really wasn't any space in the kitchen cabinet itself for me to put a sink because there were so many other things that I needed to fit in there but there's still some extra room behind the shower on the opposite side of the van so I'm going to build a small counter there specifically for the washing dishes station and I'll run all of the wiring through the bench to the other side in order to complete the entire system.
client wanted a TV in the van and was hoping for an outdoor entertainment area as well. So I had the idea to make a hidden TV that lifts up out of the kitchen cabinet like I've done before, but modify the mechanical lift so that the TV can swing freely when it's in its top position. I was gonna mount the TV right at the doorway of the van so that way it's kind of in the middle and when you lift it up you can angle it toward the couch and you can also angle it toward the passenger seat and then you can also angle it toward the outside. Hopefully all of that is possible but I'm going to try to make it happen. I'm glad the TV fits and works the way it's supposed to. So now everything is built into the kitchen that's supposed to be in there so I can finally put on the countertop. This counter is going to be a black laminated plywood with walnut edges. The kitchen is all put together now, but there's one final cabinet that I need to put in before it's complete. You see, because I had to put so many things into the kitchen cabinet itself, there's really no storage there. So the bulk of the storage for this kitchen is going to go above it in the upper cabinets that I'm going to build now.
that was the last cabin it needed to build this van. So that means it's done, right? No, far from it. It's not done at all. There's a ton of tiny little projects that need to be done before this van can be called complete. So I'm going to tackle the most time consuming part of that, which is the trim. One of the last major pieces of this van that I forgot to put in was a desk. I'm going to utilize the passenger seat of the vehicle and put it on a swivel in order to make this happen. Now all of the woodworking for this van is finally done. So all I have left to do is upholster some cushions for the bench seats and put the mattress in the bed behind the wall.
Thanks for watching. Because you made it this far into the video, I wanted to let you know that I'm finally able to build vans for other people. And this is hopefully the first of many. If you already have a van or something similar, money saved for materials and labor, and you can get your van to the Western New York area, then head over to my website and you can fill out my build request form. This van took me about four months to make and obviously there are only so many months in a year so I can only do a few of these custom build projects. So because of that, I'm not going to be able to build a van for everyone who fits those requirements. So I'll be selecting the projects that seem most interesting to me. So just submit whatever you've got and I'll give you feedback about what I can do with it or if I'm available. To get an idea to see if you have have enough money saved to do a project like this I do have a rough pricing guide up on the build request form so that you can see it before you fill it out and you know when you'll be ready to do something like this but as for this fan I'll have an in-depth tour video of it coming out soon but if that's not out yet then you can watch the last tour of the 1983 van that I built right here thanks for watching and I'll see you next time